Good afternoon, year five. Friday afternoon, the sun's in the sky, as usual. Um, looking forward to the weekend. And we're gonna start this afternoon by talking about the task wheel, okay? So this uh, week and next week, we are going to be focusing on some DT, so design and technology, okay? So we're gonna be designing something and if you've looked at the skill, we're going to be making a model, or you are going to be making a model. So, how's the task wheel going to help us? I'm not sure if as some of you may have come across the task wheel before, uh, but I'm not too sure. Um, I use it a lot, okay? So, I use this at home as well. If I'm making anything, um, I run through this wheel. It, organizes uh, my brain okay so before i have a project to make something i kind of go through all of these uh, statements and questions okay so what are we going to do um, here's a task bill that's broken down and again i will put um, this into the resources so please look at the resource you can um, make your own task wheel by drawing it in your book. Uh, you could print it out or cut it out. It's entirely up to you. So what I want you to do, think about today, um, your task, we're just gonna start on this yellow part. Your task is to make a model, okay? That's your task, so we've identified that. And I'd like you to make um, a model of a spacecraft. It can be any kind of spacecraft that you uh, want to make or design, I should say. So the first part of our wheel is what do I know about this? So I'd like you to either do a little bit of research on spacecraft, so either real spacecraft. We've had a look at ISS. Um, there are many others. We've kind of seen clips of shuttles and things like that. I want you to do a little bit of research. What do I know about this? So what does a spacecraft need? Well, it needs fuel. I know that much. Okay, what else does it need? Um, and then you could also include in this segment of your planning is uh, what do I know about model making? Okay, so if you go up to gather and organize here, it breaks it up into about five questions. You can just sort of use those questions as prompts in your own planning. Okay, so that's what you're going to do today. So you need to kind of you do your own little subheading. What do I know about this? You could color it in, you can do it in orange felt tip. It's entirely up to you, but do use the wheel, okay, each step of the wheel. So we've talked about um, the task. So what are my goals? Well, I want to make a model. What are the obstacles? I don't know exactly um, what I need to make it. Have I got the resources? So you're going to be making these models over the period of a week. So you've got a week to make your model. So there is no rush. This is just um, part one of our task wheel. Okay, so we've got two lessons on this. Um, what do I need to know? Uh, what do I need to do this? Okay, so those questions you need to ask yourself. So I would be rummaging through my recycling bin and things like that, okay? Good, so how many ideas can I find? Um, so you might want to do a little bit of research about model making on the internet. Um, I'm going to show you a clip anyway, which will give you some ideas. Um, you might want to make a replica of an actual spacecraft. So you might choose an Apollo rocket or something like that. Think, I want to look at that carefully. I want to get all the, um, the correct uh, digits and numbers and the correct color and the patterns so you might want to do um, a rocket like that i think i'd probably like to have a go at making a, a herge rocket so um, how can i do that but there are lots of different ideas so at this point you can make sketches you can look at little pictures stick them on um, 
get as many ideas down as possible okay and then at some point you might say well actually there's no way I can build that it's just too complicated okay you might even want to think about making a rocket that will take off or that could travel across the garden or something like that so I've done them with balloons before going across the washing line you might want to put that in your how many ideas can I think of okay so the next part of the wheel is which is the best idea and this is really where I want you to get to today in today's lesson so um, at this point I would like you to produce to make your design draw a plan um, of your spacecraft now I'm saying spacecraft because it could be um, a moon buggy uh, it could be a space station it could be a rocket it is entirely up to you I've left it really open okay if you're doing a space station have a look at something on ISS okay we looked at that clip so they are on uh, line anyway all right guys we're gonna move on so have a vision and then do your plan decide your best idea so let's have a little look thought this one's a really cool one and um, is based I would say on the Apollo you can see uh, on the side of the rocket you've got your boosters what do the boosters do you need to find out okay a rocket is not going to take off without boosters okay so uh, again a little bit more detail here but uh, you get the idea this looks like they've used possibly uh, cardboard tubes so it could be a Pringles box it could be toilet rolls and card and uh, I really like the little flags on these so this is a USA rocket and you've got your nose cones there as well um, again this one I thought was cool it's using paper clips so it might be plastic bottles that they've used um, there and they've got their nose cones and then they're just sort of painted or you could put paper around it. So do your design on paper and then wrap that around and tape it up or glue it up. All right, so some of the equipment I need might be tape and glue could go into my plan, couldn't it? So down here we've got an example we've got tin foil different materials have a look around the house okay so tape thicker bits of card thinner bits of card am i going to need to make flaps or tabs okay what will i need so on your plan make a list of resources and remember you've got a whole week to work to be working on this good so um here are some really good examples this one on the left is of the uh, shuttle okay so a very famous image you can see there are lots of parts to this shuttle this is a very accurate looking model so how did they get that far they got to design it so this is your design element so you will need to do or make a drawing okay of your spacecraft and then label it be as detailed as you can so this one is broken down you've got a whole structure system propulsion system you've got pumps nozzles fins frames fuel you need to be you need to know where the person is going to sit so in resources I will give you some examples of this style of planning okay so you can label a rocket here we go color really important I like this one that's just gone up it's got the parachute why does a rocket have a parachute is anyone jumping out of it possibly not okay so what's the parachute there for you could include a parachute in your own model that would be super cool if you're brave enough you could see if your parachute worked and throw it out a window okay so we're going to watch um, a bit of a clip um, hopefully it will work it goes on for a while um, it's very detailed this one but you could make notes think about the design process 
and what skills are being used. Okay, so sit back, enjoy this, and you can rewind if you need to, but it's got some good ideas on it. Let's get it rolling, and I'll put it up as a link as well. So this is where somebody has really got their best ideas um, together. You could be as detailed as this if you want to. always good to start with a drawing and just develop your ideas from there. This is just a bit of the what do I know about this, so background information about the actual spacecraft. If you want to build a launch pad as well, you could do that. I'm just looking at that smoke and thinking uh, cotton wool would look really good at the base of your rocket. And we were talking about Richard Branston and his space tourist program, weren't we, Mrs. Hayward? And um, Richard Branston's uh, shuttle is very much like the shuttle that we've just seen, or this model represents. <laughs> it's designed to come back to Earth. Okay, so you might want to have a look at one of Richard Branston's. Um, shuttles and base your design on that obviously if you're using sharp um, tools uh, scissors knives or anything like that just please make sure you're being very careful with those so corrugated card is very good because it's strong um, and you can also you can also flex it as well so you can curve that card if you bend it in the right direction okay now obviously you need to be patient you've got to wait for things like glue to dry 
you could use paper clips um, for fixing things together you could use tape I like to use masking tape a lot because then you can paint over it and it's not always like a, a permanent fix So it looks like he's making his uh, tabs there, or flaps. How are you going to fold your card? Sometimes you don't want to make um, a really tight fold. So you don't crease it. Good card um, to use is uh, cereal packets, anything like that. If you need to make, um, I think he's making a cone here. See, that is a really good way of making a cone or your booster. How are you going to make a circular shape to cut out to begin with? Okay, so you might want to find something from the kitchen, like a baked bean tin or something like that, and draw around the base of it. See what you've got in your house, okay? Another example of the cone, um, a good way of attaching that again if you've got a paper clip just to hold it together if, whilst the glue needs to set or dry. <clears throat> can see a lot of measurements coming up as well so you might want to make a note of your measurements here so he's talking about the diameter of um, his circles so the length around the outside edge of his circle I'm assuming that's a man So the main parts like that. Now obviously that would have taken quite a long time to make. Don't rush your project, you'll get a really good result. Okay, if you just take your time. Maybe think about, your design might change as you go along. So don't be uh, worried about making changes to your plan. <clears throat> You could even make it so that compartments open up and things like that, okay? You could have a clear section from a, a clear plastic bottle and you could see inside. So you could make um, the inside of your rocket as well. Putting it against a black background uh, really sets it off, doesn't it? I think that's uh, a fab example all made out of card. Very impressed. Okay, fantastic. Right, so um, a good design process there. So remember drawing, labeling, measuring, cutting, gluing, all of those skills.
you can use as well. So, um, I thought I'd ch share with you uh, this clip. We had some music to begin our lessons with. Um, and uh, this is the opening title from one of my favorite uh, space programs called UFO. And <clears throat> the reason I'm showing you this, um, all the spacecrafts were actual models. So a man who made this TV series called Jerry Anderson, he made lots of things like uh, Captain Scarlet, Thunderbirds, Fireball XL5, Joe 90, and all of his uh, sets were uh, made from models, okay? And he often used puppets as well. Um, so look at the different designs of the spacecraft you can see in the opening sequence. And let's just pray that it works. Fantastic. Amazing what the world looked like in Fantastic. And a little job for Mrs. Hayward over the weekend. Mrs. Hayward, I'd like you to dye your hair purple, um, ready for Monday. Okay, and I'll see you then. Okay, good. I'm hoping that gave you some ideas. It did me, actually. <clears throat> right, so a recap on our task today. So, I want you just to focus on the first half of the task wheel and obviously the let's do it as well because you're going to be d making that during uh, the week okay so you're going to make some sort of spacecraft uh, you can use whatever materials you like okay it's part one so decide draw your plan and label it okay you might want to include real facts about rockets things like that it is up to you okay i'm really looking forward um to this project <clears throat> and um hopefully you've got a week um of planning and making ahead of you hopefully you'll be able to take some photos and send them in right good luck with that <coughs> task guys any problems um then you can message or on pinboard or something like that you can send a message in and i'll see if i can answer those problems um when i get a moment excellent right i'm gonna say cheerio